Hey folks, don't for one second think the title tricked you. It's not clickbait, I promise. I legitimately took an old $5 Dell Optiplex 980 and turned it into a central room core. Here's the story. So my girlfriend and I were browsing through probably one of the strangest and weirdest estate sales I've ever seen. These people collected just about everything you could possibly imagine. As I descended to the basement, I found shelving containing cassette tapes. And if you know me, I like cassette tapes for no reason, because I don't even have a cassette player. I ended up buying the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack and a Paula Abdul tape. Don't you judge me. You know you have guilty pleasures too. Either way, as I was leaving that area, I saw a thin, small form factor old Dell Optiplex 980 that looked like it had been long forgotten. I saw the tag, said five bucks. Well, it was 10 bucks, but it was 50% off that day. I honestly didn't even open the case. You know, I knew this was meant to be. I got a couple of eye rolls from my girlfriend because they usually will impulse buy and stuff will just sit. Not this. I was determined. Initially, I wanted a NAS drive project, but this was cool too. So I got it home and the very next day I got to work. I opened the case. Thankfully, it was only mildly dusty. I noticed that the mechanical drive was laying on top of the motherboard. Not the most ideal places for it, but I remembered from my Dell purchases of the past that Dell loves their proprietary mounts uh, for optical drives and hard drives. No problem. I removed it and recycled it responsibly to ensure these people's information remained safe. I didn't even, I was curious, but I didn't even take a look. Along with the hard drive was an optical drive. Nothing fancy, just a little DVD ROM. However, where I won was the eight gigs of RAM that had been upgraded. That saved me a lot of money. So, in my mind, if the motherboard wasn't fried and the first gen i5 processor still worked well, all I needed was a few upgrades and I was good to go. So I made a shopping list for my Micro Center Adventure. Who doesn't love a Micro Center Adventure? RIP fries. I needed a new solid state hard drive for the operating system, so I went with an Inland Professional 256 hard drive. It's cheap, but it gets the job done. I've used Inland Professional before, no issues. I also bought a quiet fan by Noctua for constant operation and an active HDMI adapter since the computer only has VGA and a new CMOS battery. I found out that out the hard way. Thank you to IT guru Giles from Home Theater Fanatics for the help. You are a master of all. I also got a wireless keyboard and with a trackpad and a new front fascia. The original front fascia had some nasty dings and missing pieces, so I figured a new one would complete the experience and make it look really nice. Not a bad deal considering I spent all of five bucks on the PC, so after my fun little escapades at Micro Center and eBay, I spent a total of about 120-ish, give or take. So let's just say 125, just, just to call it. 125 for the project. Where I had the most significant obstacle though was the new fan. I went with the Noxua NF-A8P WM fan, but the connector wasn't meant for the type of connection provided on Dell's motherboard. So I found an adapter on Amazon, which I will link below. The only thing pending right now is a hard drive caddy for the new SSD. So my SSD literally is just sitting on the motherboard. It should arrive in a couple days and it will attach to the top of it that says Optiplex, really clean. Uh, after putting it all together, I bought a Windows key online and loaded Windows 10 onto the hard drive. I was up and running in about 30 minutes. This thing isn't the fastest thing in the world, so it took about 30 minutes to load. I had to tweak a few things in BIOS because of my fan upgrade, but aside from that, it was running just fine. Oh, almost forgot. I applied some fresh thermal grease on the processor since the old stuff was pretty crusty. I downloaded Rune and set up my core just like that. You know, no issues. I use it all the time now. The computer stays on 24 seven and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. I ended up hooking up the HDMI adapter to my Denon AVR to control it through my 70 inch Samsung I have in the living room. I love it. In the description below, I will provide everything I use and all the specs on the computer. So if you come across one of these, even one that's similar, cause I know there's lots of different models of this thing um, at a thrift store, estate sale, you could do this too. Granted, I could, you know, could have possibly sit, you know, spent a couple extra hundred bucks on a NUC, which very well could have been the equivalent, if not better, but then I wouldn't have had this project to work on, guys. That's how I am convincing myself that this was a good idea. <laughs> In all seriousness, it works great. 
It's quick, it's quiet, and it runs Rune just fine. If you guys wanna try a fun project like this and need some help, please feel free to leave me a comment below or email me or anything. My email is always in the description. I also have a private Facebook group called Hi-Fi Audio Addiction, and we can discuss it there. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and like the videos so the algorithm will start to like me a little bit more than it currently does. Uh, this is the way life is. Thank you, folks, and have a happy new year. I will see you in 2022. Bye-bye.